What do you call a pane in a window? <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> he can't even say window. <laughs> what do you mean, Bob? What did I say wrong? Window. <laughs> window, window. Wait, wait. What's up, guys? I'm Susanna Collins, and welcome to Around the League. And today, we are going to be looking at some of the best club-produced video content from the month of July. Now, as you may know, there was plenty to watch on the field, but there was also a lot of news made off the field, notably out in Los Angeles, where LAFC announced their first head coach, Bob Bradley, in the most baller way possible. Uh, LA's an incredible city. Uh, diversity, uh, a city that has uh, real heart. And what I look forward to most of all is now trying to make sure that we can put a team that connects with the people and the diversity, a team that excites and represents. Um, that is uh, uh, what it's all about. So while Bradley was introduced for the first time, I know one thing that isn't new to many people, Game of Thrones and the Philadelphia Union gave us their take on the television phenomenon. Enemies from the left wing. Enemies from the right wing. Enemies in the midfield. Enemies on the back line. Enemies in the goal. Whatever stands in our way, we will defeat it. So I'm sure many of you have seen or heard about Game of Thrones, but for those that have not, FC Dallas's Ja'Cory Hayes, who is a super fan, will explain the show to you and his teammate, Reggie Cannon. Daenerys, queen of dragons, she has three dragons, a whole army, she's ready to take over, you know, Westeros and be queen of the Seven Kingdoms. What are these places? What is Res it's like, Westeros? It's like fictional England almost. So you guys totally get the premise now, right? Nicely done, Ja'Cory. Um, if you head over to FC Dallas's site to see the full video, you're gonna enjoy it. Now, did you know MLS stars also have many skills and hobbies outside of soccer? And the Rapids' Marlon Harrison and Dominic Baji showed off their joke-telling chops. What do you call a broken window? I don't know. A pain in the glass. You know, I kind of agree with Dom. I feel like Marlon can do better. All right, so moving on, wait, no really, are you serious? Oh my God, are, does this guy really always have to steal my shine? <sighs> okay, well the Chicago Fire held their 20th anniversary party and uh, guess who was there? Well, I remember getting drafted and being so excited and honored that I was getting to play for the Fire and that was because of the tradition, the honor, the passion that this club has. There's so many young fans in MLS that don't understand that history. To have this event that really honors the past and also timed with the re-emergence of this club, getting back to those uh, glory days, hopefully. Yeah, all right, that's enough, Kaylin, for this episode. Just kidding, buddy, you know I love you. Um, okay, one thing I know Kaylin hasn't done, that is throw out a first pitch, but his buddy Justin Miram and teammates Frederico Iguain each took a crack at it and uh, neither ended up looking like 50 Cent, so good on you guys. And speaking of athletes trying out different sports, the Earthquakes welcomed NBA champion Zaza Pachulia to a recent game, and he tried using his feet instead of his hands. Okay, so I'm getting word that Dominic and Marlon want a second shot at a joke telling. What did the buffalo say to his son before he left for college? Okay. Bye, son. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> All right, a little better. Um, I'm glad you both got a kick out of it. Yeah, see what I did there? Okay, no, that was terrible, never mind. Um, if you are a Minnesota fan, it's been an up and down year, but one thing you definitely have to look forward to is your new stadium. Now we know at some point the Montreal Impact will be traveling to Minnesota and this month they put their spotlight on the technical staff as they dealt with booking a charter flight to Columbus. Oh my god, are you serious? Okay, all right guys, uh, Marlon and Dom, they're at it again. How does a train eat? I don't know. Choo choo. Ah! <laughs> 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 
Maybe you guys are onto something. Now, both Marlon and Dom have faced Kyle Beckerman, who received high praise from the rest of RSL's organization. When you speak of RSL, you know, the first name that comes to mind is Kyle Beckerman. Swings it in, Beckerman! Beckerman. Long shot! What a strike by Beckerman! You know, if it were common to find a guy like him, everyone would have him and they don't. I've honestly never been around a player that every day brings it like he does. Now Kyle will understand a little something about this next video. There is no question that the Timbers Army has some remarkable fans, and one in particular, Noah Schultz, who became a Timbers fan in prison while he rebuilt his life. Here he is as he shares a spoken word piece. There are people who say it is just a game. Now what they are really saying is they haven't yet tasted passion. Or they haven't seen the Portland Timbers in full action because when I look down at the pitch, I watch Diego Valeri perform magic tricks with free kicks and defy physics as they fly over walls leaving goalies stuck on paws. Really remarkable stuff from Noah. Now, before we go, we want to take you inside the Revs' locker room as head coach Jay Heaps gets his squad fired up. All right, we've prepared for this game. All right, now we need to step on the field and do what we talked about on Thursday. Everyone in here has to have a performance. We have to carry the guy next to you. Guys, we're right here, it's right now. If we step on the field and do the business, we will get three points. I mean, if that doesn't get you fired up, I'm not sure what will. Well, that is gonna do it for this edition of Around the League. Wait, oh, yeah, are you serious? All right, all right, like I was saying, that will do it for this edition of Around the League. And as we sign off, it's only right we get to just one more comedy gem from our friends Marlon Hairston and Dominic Baggi. We'll see you next time. Where did the kittens go on their class trip? Yeah. The Meowseum. <laughs> 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 no, why are you saying it like that? The museum. The museum. <laughs>